Uh, rain on Friday night and uh, about 1.2 inches, so we didn't weren't able to do any tune up on Saturday, but that's that's okay. We get everything tuned up on Monday and ready to go. Uh, the corn was coming out at 25% all for the week ahead of the show, so that's perfect. Uh, advanced ticket sales are running ahead of any pace in the past, and uh, Terry from the CVB has talked to folks from 48 countries so far. <laughs> I was going to ask you about corn. You've got a lot of corn that's already taken out. Yes, we do. So, you know, we have to open up all the fields, so take all the end rows off. And then everything for tiling, uh, ride and drives, autonomy, sprayer drones, all those kind of activities, we've got to have the corn off for that. And then we have to uh, shine up all the tillage tools that show up here brand new, so we need some acres for that. So better than half of the corn here on the grounds is, is taken out before the show ever starts. But what you've got, but that was, you said, all 25%. Yep. And so the rest of it planted the same time should be about that same moisture. Or less, yeah, or less. You know, we're, we're the, the dew point is dropping here as we go through the week, so it's the air's drier, so we look forward to, you know, we might have 20, 21% corn at showtime. You had a lot of heat just in a few days before. That should have cured it a little quicker. Yeah, it certainly did. It was it was hard. That, that heat was hard for those guys during those guys and gals that set the show up. But uh, the way the forecast looks, we're we're in great shape for three beautiful days. It looked like that's exactly right. So people who are concerned about rain that's moving through over the weekend, uh, you <laughs> don't worry about that. We'll, worry. We'll, this is the price that we'll happily pay so that we can have that three day forecast for the show. We have, um, uh, you, you have a tremendous number of new things that are happening. A lot of them are probably making you say, wow. Yeah. Tell me about some of those that's going to bring a few extra people. Well, it, there's, there's a couple of new tractors that are going to be unveiled that, that I can't technically talk about that are already here that are really cool. And, you know, they are groundbreakingly different. And, you know, things like the Nexat and, and all the new autonomous solutions that are coming out and lots of sprayer drones being demonstrated and, and good, you know, really uh, creative and impressive ride and drive tracks being built. It's, it's, there's, a, there's just a lot of cool stuff from all categories of exhibitors. And a lot of uh, uh, folks are having programs in their tents to draw crowds, yeah. and I've never seen quite as many as I've gotten invitations to attend. Yeah, whether it's educational or it's a social media star or, you know, it, it, it's it's um, technological t instructions. It's There's just a lot of um, teaching and learning and things like that happening inside the grounds. Didn't have any new buildings, had a new bin, yep. maybe some other things that you know about that's uh, gotten uh, squeezed in here yeah, lately. Yeah, uh, the, the chief replaced their bin, so that's a nice, bright, shiny new bin at the northwest corner of the grounds. Um, facilities in great shape, ready for a great show. And um, and as far as the uh, uh, the roads, uh, the, the, it's going to drain off. Yep. We're not going to worry too much about that. Nope, nope. The, the, the drainage system that was put in here in 2004 and 5, uh, it's, it's holding up great. These roads are getting kind of old and tired, and I'm hoping that we can do something about getting the roads replaced. Uh, by the time we're back here in 2025. Okay, uh, not going to have a concert this year, but instead you've got soybeans. Yes, we do. We've got soybeans growing. Um, a, a great partnership with Illinois Soybean. You know, all the partnerships with Illinois Soybean are wonderful. We've got soybeans growing down there, a long-term plot agreement with them. So even in the off season, there's gonna be plot and research and it'll be a show off plot on show years. And then they, 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 along with ADM, provided us with the dust control on all the gravel surfaces on the, outside the showgrounds. And then, you know, the, the big headliner is the soybean asphalt in the Varied Industries tent. That is, that is such a wonderful improvement to the show site and those exhibitors in there and the, the farmers that walk through the tent are really gonna notice a, a, a much cleaner, more trade show-like environment inside there. How, how was that made? How, how did you do that? You didn't mix soybeans and gravel. Right, what right. What can you tell us about the construction? So the, the coolest part, one of the cool parts of this is that it is, the base of it is recycled asphalt. So it's ground asphalt that would have gone into the landfill, but they, they reclaim it, the ground asphalt, lay it down, and then spray a soybean oil binder on it run over it with a, a steamroller and then lay more recycled a, or ground asphalt and then more soybean binder and it's just kind of a similar process to laying asphalt but but you you kind of mix it right there with the with the steamroller in the process so um the, it's research from my alma mater iowa state university so i'm you know i'm awfully proud of that soybeans you also mentioned they've got an interesting little plot down there to um 
allow farmers to compare cover crops. Yes, yes. Everything there on the north end is a is a various cover crops, and you know they've they've been working in that area between them and David Bricks. They've been working that area all summer long to get that into shape, uh, so that it's a good show place here in, in August.